Hi there! In this video, I'll show you how to use your bedrock measuring instrument to do the most common type of acoustic measurement – measuring sound levels. Among the many things that your bedrock meter can do, it serves as a sound level meter, or as it is often informally called, a dB meter. According to the applicable standards, sound level meters are categorized into classes, depending on various factors that relate to measurement accuracy. The Bedrock SM90 complies with Class 1, the highest categorization. The Bedrock SM30 and SM50 fall into Class 2. All Bedrock instruments are delivered with a declaration of conformity and an individual calibration certificate so that you can prove that your instruments comply with the relevant standards. This is important since many cheap dB meters offered online will not follow the standards and should not be used professionally. The basic sound level meter functions are found in the sound pressure level module, which you can select from the main menu. The most common measure of the overall sound level is dBA. The A in dBA stands for the A weighting. This is a frequency weighting function that makes sure that the sensitivity of the human ear to different frequencies is taken into account. Other frequency weightings are C and Z. Z weighting means that all frequencies are taken into account equally. Another parameter to be chosen is time weighting. The most common choices are fast and slow, which mean exactly what you would think. The fast time weighting is better for observing fluctuations, whereas the meter may be easier to read when set to slow. A time weighting called impulse, which is not used very often anymore, measures across even shorter time frames than fast. Choose max hold if you want the meter to lock on to the highest values that it measures. The bedrock meters also support time integration, allowing equivalent continuous measurements such as LAEQ. All the energy detected during the measurement is then summed up and averaged over the measurement period. This is a way to express fluctuating sounds as a single number. To study fluctuating noise levels in more detail, we support statistical acoustics through a separate module. The study of statistical acoustics makes use of thresholds, expressed as percentiles. For instance, L95 is the level that is exceeded for 95% of the duration of the measurements. L10 is the level that is exceeded only 10% of the time, so the loudest 10% of the measurement duration. This approach is commonly used when studying environmental acoustics. Don't forget to consider how long you need to measure. The more the signal fluctuates, the longer you will want to measure. Well, that's it for now. Those are the basics of measuring sound levels. Let us know if you have any further questions, and don't forget to check out our other videos.